Hi, Dennis here again, and we are joined today by none other than KXC, KXC Worship to some of you. I'm just going to go straight into it and get the guys to introduce themselves and just to tell us a little bit about who they are and what they're about. Hey guys, how are you doing? Hello, Good, thank you. It's such a lovely day today, it isn't is. it? It is. Oh, yeah. It's great to be here. Yeah, awesome. Great to have you. Yeah, just tell us a little bit about who you are and uh, what you're about. Sure. Well, should we introduce ourselves? I'm, my name's Tom. Um, do you want to introduce yourself? I'm Amy, I'm worship leader at KXC. Okay. Tom is worship pastor at yeah. KXC and I'm Dam I'm in the worship team at KXC. So we have the full worship team here today. Who's going to be in church tomorrow? Good question. <laughs> They're going to get Many more guys are going up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, luckily, it's quite Busy fortunate weekend. to... This is quite a big team, so there's a lot of worship leaders and stuff, okay. which is That's awesome. Good. That's yeah. good. Um, and I remember that you had a number one in the UK Christian charge a few years back now. Seems like such a long time ago, yeah. but you're here today. What is David's tent to you? Um, I, I love David's tent. I think it's a real special and unique event. And I think, it's, yeah, it's incredibly important for the church in the UK, I think, because you learn how to, like, it's almost like people learn how to worship here. I think mm. there's so much freedom in the worship. There's so much... Uh, space for God to move and his spirit to move um, I think yeah it's it's almost like the engine for all the worship that happens in all the other churches I'm sure there's uh, so many churches represented here yes, today yes. and they're all getting excited enthused about being here and that just goes off and goes off to everyone's church back home and it's the fuel for that so yeah I, I love it oh brilliant is it your first time Second time, Second yeah, time. but obviously we weren't here last year, so it does feel like it's been a while. Yes. Um, yeah. yeah, really happy to, to be back. And I think like Tom said, for me, um, the best part of David's Tent is just all the different worship teams coming together, bringing their different styles. And often we get quite used to our way of worship. We get used to how we sound. Um, and it's, it's eye-opening and it's freeing. And you realize you can meet with Jesus with whatever music really, as long as he is at the center of it all. Brilliant. Um, so that's probably, a real highlight for me yeah. yes yes and just looking around you and seeing the amazing number of people and knowing that you do a lot of work in evangelism what does that feel like just seeing this gathering i mean yeah like if we thought of everyone who's present here right now telling at least one person about jesus in the next week and um, what would that look like and then seeing that multiply across different weeks and um, we could have many multiples of those that we have here right now gathering to worship Jesus and to lift him up so it's a great moment for people yes. in the church to be equipped but then hopefully also sent out the point of worship is not just for us to have a nice experience with God but for us to be transformed and to be those who can bring the good news of who Jesus is and um, to the communities that yes. God has set us in so yeah if the potential that is gathered in this place is extraordinary true evangelist eh? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, and just, just a final question for you. What is God saying to you with the backdrop of David's tent, with the backdrop of the, the last, what, uh, 18 months that we have had? What is your heart for the nations? Um, what is God saying to you in this moment, in this season that you'd want to share with us? I personally think God's calling the church to be a, a voice of hope, I think. I feel like uh, as a country and globally, I feel like hope has been really missing in our communities and in our life and obviously Jesus is the hope that the world needs to know um, but yeah I think I think God's calling the church to be a voice of hope basically in the world and voice in our community hope. yeah brilliant that's I love my that. opinion I love that and yourself yeah um, I touched on it before I think one thing I'm seeing is we are just coming back to his presence and just the simple company of Jesus and you can't ignore what's gone on in the past year and a half yes. and we all have very different experiences of it but I think that's what's most unique about this crisis we all it's just it impacts us in completely different ways um, and now we're being invited to bring that to God and sing in every circumstance not just on a Sunday not just when we're feeling good or not just when we're feeling bad but it's just raw and it's just honest um, and I'm seeing that in culture, I'm seeing people just be more open about how they're feeling um, and we need to take that to worship, take that to God so we can encounter him as our true selves, not just yes. as the face that we put on. So, brilliant, yeah. brilliant. That's great. No, that's good, that's really good, that's really good. I love food and I'm hungry, so I'm going to use chicken <laughs> to describe okay. what I think is going on right now. Um, in this moment, what we have here, we have an opportunity to get marinated in the spirit of God. Wow. And like, there's ways, different good. ways that you can make chicken and you can just slap some seasoning on it and put it straight in the oven. Or you can do it right and you can get everything on it together and leave it in for hours. 
and let that fragrance, let that flavor seep into the very fiber of the chicken and you get a very different experience. I believe God is calling us and giving us an opportunity to be soaked in his spirit, to be soaked in his presence, as Amy was saying, so that when we leave and when the world around us bites into us, what they get is not just us, but they're getting the kingdom, they're getting the spirit of Jesus. Um, so yeah, it's time for us to get loaded up and filled up because the need is great. And as Amy was just saying, there've been so many different experiences. We as the people of God get topped up with his spirit, topped up with his presence, marinate in it so that we can see the world transformed for Jesus. Wow. Amen. That is powerful. Yeah. With a chicken analogy as yeah. well. <laughs> uh, and there you have it. This is KXC Worship. Uh, they're on today at uh, David's Tent. But these guys are just telling you as it is and just encouraging you and to be marinated. Amen. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna use that for the whole weekend. <laughs> I want to be marinated Amen. in the spirit. Thank you guys so much. It's been Thank an you. absolute pleasure Thank having you. you and look forward to catching you live. Yeah. yeah. See you. Right. Thanks for us. Thank you. Bye. Earth is groaning. We are longing for your kingdom to creation.